Hello, and welcome to this week's lesson for blended learning. So we're going to take a look uh, at what blended learning is. Um, we're going to evaluate what types of course, uh, what types of courses does our program have, meaning the ECM program. Uh, we're also going to take a look at how this will help students uh, <clears throat> and teachers as well. So primarily, the ECM course types are face-to-face -face in general. Uh, we have shop classes, lab classes, theory classes, and then there's a couple of safety courses, or one safety course rather, uh, also with a CPR course. And then we have a forum course as well. Um, so a couple of different types. Uh, the shop and lab are mainly hands-on. Um, safety does have some hands-on portions as well. And uh, the forum and theory are strictly in-class lectures. So blended learning, uh, when we have a face-to-face -face portion as well as an online portion, we've created that blended learning platform. Uh, how do we create that? Well, we need the in-class portion first. <laughs> um, and then we're going to try and create a uh, Blackboard or a Moodle uh, type of classroom that is online. Uh, but it's also associated directly to that in-class, face-to-face environment. So creating the blend learning will allow us to have the students still attend class regularly, um, but allow us to bring some different types of assignments or some different accessibility to the course, uh, creating that blended learning environment. Some of the benefits of the LMS and the reason why we would use one. Uh, using an LMS to create a blended learning environment will allow you to create a course without much trouble. So instead of maybe creating your own website um, or using, you know, Google Documents, things like that, you can have everything in one central location. So it creates a course for future use by allowing you to save and store course materials. Okay, so you can create a course and use it, you know, next semester or two semesters from now. Um, the good news is, is you won't have to import all of your material again. Lastly, I'd like to talk about how this will help create a community of practice. So using an LMS can help create a community of practice by giving the students an opportunity to talk about topics outside of the classroom. Um, this might even allow you to learn something from your students where they can bring in some different types of it can also allow us to uh, learn something from the students as they can bring in other resources as part of the blog posts or discussion posts and that's the end of the lesson for today again you can find this in the LMS or on YouTube as well thank you